How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, just going to make a video today about some of the things that I've done on the van recently and I've got some stuff here in the mod shop which um, I'm replacing. Um, one of the things that I did the other day because my splitter on the front, the little sort of glass fibre black piece that fits on the bottom of the Sportline bumper started to really fade off around about three, four months ago. Um, a lot of people, when you run low, you take those off anyway, so you don't have this problem because you just get a new one. Um, but now that I've got air ride for the last sort of 18 months or whatever, um, we've had old age kicking in and uh, it faded. So I took that off, off camera, and I painted it in this mud shop. I haven't painted anything really for years and even then it's just aerosol cans, rattle cans, not, not compressors and stuff. Um, but something of that size in a room like this was perfect really to have a go. So I took it off, sanded it back, painted it um, and it turned out really well. So it's since been refitted and I've got a kind of like a before and an after shot. So this is what it looked like before where it's all kind of faded and the weather, it really just looks a bit weathered. And um, I, maybe you could have put some kind of restorer cream on it or something like that, but it really did look like it had it, sort of gone past its best. Um, so I, I don't know why. I don't know whether it was actually painted in the first place because it was quite glossy when it arrived, but um, maybe it was some sort of gel coat as opposed to paint. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like now. So it's considerably shinier, it looks like a new one. So I was quite pleased with that, and that didn't take much effort at all, really. Just some elbow grease, bit of time, and um, you have to obviously let paint dry and stuff, and went back on the van, because to be honest, I was just about to order a brand new one, just keeping it simple, and I thought, well, that's just gonna end up doing the same thing. Maybe it would be better to actually put some paint on it. Um, so I did that, and then the next thing that um, I sort of found myself doing was ordering some new trapeze bars. Um, I've currently got the Van Style, yeah, Van Style UK sidebars, which I think of OEM look. I'm pretty certain they look just like the ones that Van Volkswagen used to sell. Um, and they've been on the van for a while now, but I had to take one of them off to get at something underneath where the splash guard is. And the bolts were all corroded in that, so they just sheared off. Um, probably expected, because these things aren't really designed to be taken on and off, but yeah, I probably could have put some WD on it and maybe it would have been a bit more forgiving, but anyway, they snapped. So um, I ordered some new trapeze bars from the same firm because um, you know, I was pretty happy for the price with the other ones. So down here in this box, I've got some van style long wheelbase black trapeze bars. So let's crack these open and see what we got in the box. We'll do a bit, bit of a, an unboxing on. Yeah, by the way, it's kind of looking still a big mess in here. Um, there's, um, well, I'll give you a broad stroke of the place. So we got a new toy over there. There's the camera I'm filming on. Uh, we got some wheels. Those are the, they're the Vossens. Um, they're for sale, by the way, if you want. Um, if you're looking for some Vossens, um, the CVT, CV10, sorry. Uh, those are the polished edge CV10s that uh, I just recently changed. 
over for the Navis wheels, the Navis five spokes that I've got. If you missed that, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it now. And then, um, well, there's like, we got a new toy over here, Cy Russia e-bike. Been playing on that recently. Um, we've got some stuff for the house here. We've got uh, the log burner, because um, we're doing the lounge. So, got a nice cool log burner, that's all going on at the moment in there. Yeah, we, there's a lot of content to come out on the house, it hasn't just stopped, but it's a bit of a slower process as I think I said in the previous video. So I want to kind of strap together some footage to make an interesting video worth a watch. But we've got um, the fireplace happening at the moment, so there's work going on in the sitting room. Um, this is just taking a back seat because I need this space to kind of bring, we've had deliveries and all kinds of stuff going on. So I haven't really done anything with this, but we do have some big plans um, that will be coming out in the, in the near future. Um, but still, it's quite nice to have the space to be able to sort of do these sort of bits and pieces and I'm sure you've seen some of the videos already where I swap the wheels and stuff. It's really handy to have this double garage. Anyway, back to this video. Um, it is actually quite late at night at the moment, so we're gonna hold fire until the morning. As far as you're concerned, let's do that in a minute. I'll see you in a sec. Hmm. All right, welcome back, people. Um, gonna get these installed on the van now, so the next day here. So let's get stuck in. I think the first thing we're gonna need to do is get the old ones off, the old one, <laughs> and then we can get these on. Got the van ready outside, all aired up. Nice and high, so it makes life a bit easier to work. That's a plus to air ride, that is. Oof. Anyway, let's get into it. installed pretty pleased with the way they look um, I'm gonna get it spun around fit the other side on in exactly the same way and then I'll get the van cleaned up because it's filthy and do the usual montage at the end